Welcome, folks, to another edition of Tiffin Cast. I'm your host, Seishu. And today I'm speaking with my friend Josh Solar, who's a photographer out of Kansas City. And Josh is also presenting at Brand Camp. And I figured I'd speak with him about why he's going, what he's expecting uh, of Brand Camp, and what really motivated him to go to Brand Camp as a participant as well as a speaker. Josh, welcome to the show. How's it going? Good, good. Um, I know, as I said, I want to know, why are you going to Brand Camp? What's so important about Brand Camp for you? Well, for me, um, something that my wife and I do is uh, we like to go to conferences where we're going to be inspired and um, kind of uh, recharge a bit and meet a bunch of other people who are trying to, um, I don't know, do things in their own way, you know, and kind of like make their own path in life and um, brand camp to me just seems right in my alley because there's going to be so many inspiring, uh, speakers there. And I know that the, the people that are going to be attending are going to be equally as inspiring as, as the speakers there, you know, the stuff that happens, uh, late at night when you're just up till two and three in the morning chatting with all the people, cause you're so excited, you know, you're like, I'm going to do this or I'm going to do this. And then you're like, yeah, and then I can do that. Um, and so just connecting with like-minded souls who dream big and then want to make that stuff happen is, uh is the reason that I'm going. Well, why do you think that's so. important though? Why is it so important to be able to connect with somebody? I mean, you could be, you could be there with your so-called competition, right? I mean, and, and yeah, like why is it important to connect with another human being and when it comes down to like creating a business for yourself, you know, what does that got um, to do with creating a business? For me, it's, it's all about that abundance mentality in the sense that, uh, there's always enough to go around. Um, and you know, like, so even though there's going to be a lot of photographers there, mm-hmm. um, or people, you know, entrepreneurs, maybe somebody who also does the same thing as you, there's, um, there's so many people out there that, who are looking for exactly what you have to offer. And being that, you know, I've been in the photography industry for about nine years now. So there's a very specific client that, uh, would w- connects with my work and we connect really well, you know, and hit it off and, and all that stuff. And so somebody who really is into the stuff that I do might not be into the stuff that you do. And so meeting other people there and seeing what they do and seeing how you can bring some of what they're doing into your business and vice versa, like there's always enough to go around. Um, yeah. Did I answer your question? Uh, you did. You sure did. Uh, <laughs> tell us a little bit about your, your you have a special project uh, or, or, or course, I guess, for photographers or for parents, really. It's called the Happy Family Movement, right? Yes. Tell us a little yeah. bit about that. I know we're going off tangent in a bit from Brand Camp, but I think it's all connected in a way. Absolutely. Um, Jenny and I are very big on, uh, we use the word intentional and in the things that we do. And one of the, one of the things that we do um, is we're very intentional about spending time with our kids and knowing that when we're with our kids, we're present with them and they get our full attention. And it's, you know, so many times you get kind of scatterbrained and you're like trying to do 10 things at once. And, and what happens is, is when you're doing that, you're not focusing on anything or doing anything well. And so we try and live our life in the way that like when we're with our kids, we're with them, we're down on their level, we're chatting with them, we are fully with them. And that's what the happy family movement's all about is just, you know, creating a certain set of family values that we want to raise our kids in and inspiring others to, to do that for their own family. And our family values might be different than yours and that's okay. But just the whole thing of like having those values and living a life and creating a life that uses those values as a basis for how you raise your kids. So that's kind of what the happy family movement's about. Do you see and finding it? lots of joy and laughter? Of course, of course, and that's what I think is the connection between Brand Camp and ha- the Happy Family Movement. I mean, there's a certain sense of like joy and and fun and and, and just sheer mirth uh, that you're there to, to just sort of experience. Um, do you do you sense that uh, when you are at Brand Camp, uh, you're going to bring some of what you've learned from 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 running the Happy Family Movement to the to the camp? I mean, is that possible where you're oh, you're going to be able to absolutely. talk about talk a little bit about that aspect of it absolutely um what what i feel um is nice about Ginny and my life in my life in the in the way that we live and um well we've been together for shoot 18 years now uh, married 
our anniversary is right around brand camp. Anyway, just, just before brand camp, we'll be married 11 years. Um, and so we've kind of lived, we talk about our whole lives together and we have been entrepreneurs, you know, running our own businesses for the last, I mean, with no other form of income for the last six years. And so, um, I think everything that we do is all about trying to find a way to allow us the freedom that we want to do the things we want to do in our life. And for example, um, the, in November, we're heading off to Europe for five months with our kids. And uh, it's just something we've just always talked about, like, oh, let's go to Paris and see the Eiffel Tower. And when we started looking into it, we we're like, well, it's really expensive to get there. And if we go to over the summer, it's going to be busier and we're going to have to turn away work. So like, well, let's just go over there during the winter and stay for five months and just travel all over Europe. And so it start, like anything that we do starts with that, like just a really simple idea. And then we're like, okay, that sounds awesome. How do we make that happen? And so I think the happy family movement's the same way. And our photography business is the same way. And then some other products that we're launching, like in businesses and stuff that we're working on right now is all the same way. Like how do we bring more freedom to our lives, doing things that we love that align with our values and teach our kids to do the same. Um, and pretty much any conversation I have with anybody at brand camp will be along those lines. You know, what do you love to do with your life or what do you want to do with your life and, um, helping people figure out how to do that and overcoming some of those fears. And, and I think that's really where, um, my focus is going to be come brand camp is cause I've been writing a lot, just journaling a lot lately about fear and, and all the reasons why any of these businesses that we've started could fail or maybe never even would have started if we just gave into that fear, you know? Right. So I know I kind of rambled on and on and covered a bunch of different stuff. But. No, no, no problem at all, Josh. Um, for someone who's considering brand camp, and there's only a few more days left for someone to register, um, what would you tell that person, he or she, to, to not just so much expect of brand camp, but to say, hey, listen, this is why you should consider coming to brand camp. What would your, your, your words of advice would be for that person? Well, I would say that what? brand camp is for um, people who, wanna, who, who are dreamers in the sense that they want, they want to create a sustainable business that is meaningful not just to themselves but to others as well. <laughs> And so meeting other people who want to do that same thing in their life is, I mean, it's, it's just not, I don't want to call it networking because I, I really don't like the networking term. Like you're building friendships and you're building a community and you're going to keep in touch with the people that you meet there and you're going to cry together and you're going to laugh together and you're going to, I know I'm going to be giving out lots of hugs. Plus, um, I, I have never been to a place where I can do all of that with such a, a amazing group of people and be able to eat s'mores 24 hours a day or ride a Ferris wheel. <laughs> there you go. So, <laughs> so <laughs> lots, of, lots like, of good reasons to be there, right? Yeah. I mean, and just to think about, I mean, everybody wants, you know, everyone has something that like deep down inside, they know that they're being called to do. Yes. And for whatever reason, you know, you see so many people that do it and then so many other people just get scared or, and, and there's going to be a lot of people there that are that you're are going to be like um, when you start talking to them that you'll find you have so much in common in the way that you think about like well I'm scared of this or I'm scared of this and just being able to talk it over with a bunch of people you know it, it's just invaluable so Josh thank you so much for joining us uh, I know anybody who's going to meet you is going to get a hug. So, I mean, that in itself is uh, the price of admission to brand camp. I think, uh, Absolutely. you know, you are you're one heck of a guy. I mean, I love both you and your wife and uh, I mean, you've inspired me in, in so many ways and, uh, you don't even know it, but you know, thank you. So, uh, well, thank I look, you. I look forward to seeing you in May and hopefully we'll eat some s'mores and, uh, you know, talk Absolutely. about, talk about, talk about business without being a, so so business oriented and we won't network we'll just hang out absolutely <laughs> all right josh thank you very much you're welcome thank you